I'm in anime CC. I'll create a new file. The width is 750 pixels. The height is 400 pixels. I'm going to save it first. File save. And on my desktop, I've already got a motion pass folder. So I just say motion path and save. Next, I'm going to import to stage. This basketball, I just say open. The file is very large. So I'm use the Q key. And hold on my shift and make it a little bit smaller. With the basketball selected, I'm going to use F8 to, to convert it into a symbol. Click OK. I'm going to move it to the left hand corner. In the timeline, I'm on frame one, I work on frame one and create motion trim. You go all the way to one second, which is a 30 frame. I'm going to move it all the way to 60. On frame 60, I'm going to use F6 to insert a keyframe and move the basketball to the right. Now you see there's a path here. The most important thing is you have to select the selection tool. Move your tool close to the path. And then you move it up, it becomes a curve. Now you shift comma, go back to the first frame. Use enter. And now you see the ball moving from one side to the other, following the curve. I'm going to frame 90. I'm going to open it up a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to frame 90. Use F6 to create another keyframe. I move it forward a little bit. And I can kind of adjust the curve. I'm going to 105. Use F6 to give another keyframe and move the basketball forward a little bit. Now I can go in and change the curve a little bit. Now go back to shift comma, go back to the first frame, enter. Now you see the basketball is following the curve. In order to have the basketball rolling forward, we need to insert two more keyframes. So I'm click 106, give a keyframe, and I'll click 140 give another keyframe. Now in 140, I'll move the basketball forward. Now in my, I'll open up my transform panel. I'll change the rotate to 180. Now go back to frame one. Enter. Now see the basketball is moving and it's also rolling and stop at 140. The next click on anywhere between 106 and 140. And in the properties panel, change the ease to 100. Use control enter. Now see the ball is moving. 
Test it one more time. Just use a shift comma, go back to first frame, enter. Now see the ball is moving and moving to a slow stop. That is how you modify the motion path.